Hey, part two of the vCloud Director 9.5 uh, cross VDC setup. Uh, what we're going to show here today is establishing our first data center group and uh, walking through on uh, joining these two org VDCs together that um, we enabled between our site A and site B. So within the VCD instance, uh, we have a new uh, option, which is data center groups. Uh, and what we're going to do here, I'm logged in under my Daniel uh, organization. We're going to establish this new uh, data center group, and we're just going to call it Daniel Group. Uh, Wissam, why don't you talk about the difference uh, of the egress configurations we have here? Sure. So we have two options for the egress co uh, configurations. We would either use common egress point, which is nothing but deploying um, a UDLR um, that has an active only one active egress point, and the other would be just like the other site would be passive. Or the other option is egress points per fault domain, which is basically an active active uh, uh, traffic configuration where traffic will egress locally from its site. So uh, workloads living on site A will egress from uh, site A's uh, uh, infrastructure, while workloads deployed on site B will be egressing from site B's infrastructure. So correct me if I'm wrong, Wissam, that is essentially using the NSX bit for local egress optimization. Is that correct? Correct. That's that's an option that will be configured by VCD on the NSX UDLR. So okay. with, with local egress, we would have the option of uh, uh, deploy local egress on the UDLR while it's being uh, instantiated. Excellent. So what we discussed for this setup was we're going to egress traffic out of site A. So we're going to select... Uh, common egress point and just have active standby. Okay, so the next step what we're going to do is I have under the Daniel organization between the two VC instances, I have one respective org VDC. So what we have to do when we establish a data center group is we need to have a minimum of two data centers uh, that are attached that are in independent network fault domains. As you can see, I have my region A and region B. This is what we named when we did the provider setup, when I correlated each vCenter to a network fault domain. Um, as you can see on the right-hand side, we have the ability to add in two more data centers to this data center group to essentially split up where I'm actually stretching the network associated with this. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. We'll see our confirmation page here. Again, we're selecting the common egress point. I have my participating data centers or my org BDCs, and we're gonna click finish. So we'll see this task uh, kick off here shortly. We'll see the new da Daniel group, and then let's go look at behind the scenes what's happening here. We can see uh, now within my region A, we're deploying that UDLR control VM under region A. While we're, we created this on site B. So with Tom, why are we actually deploying the edge on site A? So reason we're deploying the edge on site A is, if you remember guys, the site A had the primary NSX manager. So that's why we are deploying the control VM on site A. Great, excellent. So let's go back over to um, our tasks here. And we should see now uh, a new uh, data center group. All right, next up, we'll actually talk about stretched networks and also uh, setting up the egress point. Thanks.